Hi, my name is Josie, and this is Nashozi. Hey, everyone, and welcome to today's special Mental Health Monday, and we are talking about PMDD. Yay. What does PMDD stand for? Premenstrual Dysphoric Disorder. Yeah, I said premenstrual. Yeah, we're talking about period shit. Don't be a wuss. Yeah, we're talking about period shit. Here's the thing about PMDD. Sounds like PMS, right? Well, it's a form of PMS in a way. It's kind of like the Pokemon evolution of PMS, but not that cool. Uh, PMDD is pretty awful, actually, and it can run uh, right along with other disorders of uh, the uterus and mind. Um, so you could have um, endometriosis and also have PMDD. But of course, you know, you obviously have to rule out the endo first. Um, PMDD is, like I said, it's like insane PMS. Um, when people often do stereotypical PMS stuff, like, you know, in a sitcom or a cartoon, and you have that angry, like, berate woman who is just raging, and everyone's like, oh, she must be on her period, that is pretty much PMDD. Also, don't joke about that, because it's really kind of fucked up, because if you've had a period, you know that it's, it's pretty much hell. And if anyone's like, oh my god, my period's fine, I'm okay, they're secretly lying to you because it's you're bleeding out of your body for multiple days and you're not dying. So, I mean, who else bleeds out of their body for multiple days and doesn't die? Like, only Jesus. So really, we should all get sainthood for having to deal with this. With PMDD, uh, up to 10% of menstruating women can experience it. It, it can basically make you feel... Uh, like hell um your cramps are magnified your uh mental unease is magnified uh with pmdd it's like having depression and anxiety if you don't have them already for um you know the period of your period you can also have obviously depression anxiety i'm autistic with anxiety and have pmdd as well you can also have other disorders at the same time as having PMDD. As long as you're a menstruating woman, you could have PMDD. And now I have depression, anxiety, autism already. What it does for me is it magnifies that. So for me personally, when it's that time of the month, um, I basically turn into... Shizilla. Like I extremely antisocial, distant, almost vicious. And it feels like the world is ending. Everything for me is the worst of the worst. And I already experienced that with a lot of the disorders that I'm experiencing, you know, 365 days a year. Now those things are magnified by the PMDD. On top of that, you are exhausted. Your body just doesn't want to do what you want it to do. It's like, you're walking through molasses or tar or something. Um, your mind is just, your mind is a mess, your body is a mess, your cramps are like the worst. Um, everything is magnified. So with PMDD, it's like taking PMS and putting it under the radar. And when you're experiencing that, that time that you're on your period or, or most of the time it starts just before. So when you're about to have your period up until when you're almost when you're finishing it and sometimes even after, hence the premenstrual. So it mainly affects you in the beginning or before your period. Um, and so like you just feel like for that, however that amount of time, you know, a week, for some people 10 days, for some people only four days, however amount of time you're on your period and then maybe a few days before, um, you are a completely different person. You don't feel like you're yourself anymore. And so many people just joke and throw that around like, oh, she's, she's PMS and just leave her alone. And it's it's cruel almost because during that time you need that understanding. You need people to, to reassure you that, hey, we get it. You're going through this during this time. We're still here. We still understand you. And when you make fun of people on their menstrual cycle, people who are even just dealing with regular PMS, 
you're just making that into a joke and it's something that so many women experience not all women obviously experience having a period but uh, a lot of women do and it's not something that we should sit here and joke about anymore and you know already it's hard to talk about periods so imagine how hard it is to talk about PMDD and when I find friends that I connect with that have it or even might be experiencing it and don't know for sure if they have it it's almost taboo to talk about it. it's like oh we don't want to talk about this period stuff but like we should be able to by talking about our periods by talking about our bodies we're educating ourselves and we're educating other women and we're being more open about that and being more educated about our sexual health about our reproductive health is going to lead to less less sexually transmitted diseases less unwanted pregnancies for you know people who can make babies like that you know obviously heterosexual people or however they want to be labeled um and so on so we need to be more open to, to talking about these things and that's why i wanted to talk about pmdd today is because i want people to get that conversation going to say hey i watched this video today and it made me want to talk more about pmdd with you guys be open about it and don't be scared to listen to people like tell your friends when you're menstruating and it's terrible and you're having a hard time people need to understand that and if you're not um you know a menstruating woman you need to open your mind and understand that it's not something you yourself might experience um but you can listen and learn it's not comfortable it's not fun and pmdd sometimes has made me you know feel like it's the end of the world and i want to die and i'm literally suicidal because i'm on my period and it's something that i wish more people understood so I hope I've answered some questions with this video. If you have more questions, you know, leave me a comment. Uh, you can always email me at akamonjosie at gmail.com. And, and let's get this conversation going even further. Share this video with your friends, like, subscribe, and let's talk more. If you think that you might have PMDD, please talk to your doctor. And Planned Parenthood is always a resource right now. Well, right now, granted the state of the government, Oberyn, you were so rude. I'm sorry, my my dog needs to drum for everyone today right now. What is I'm trying to have a serious conversation right now and you are just so rude. Anyway, so Planned Parenthood is a resource you have right now and they can also help you with uh reproductive health and honestly some of the craziest things like they're not just an abortion clinic guys they can help you even if you have the flu it is crazy the resources that they have available to you at low cost you know if you have low income you can get answers there so if you don't have a primary care doctor and you're thinking wow the stuff in this video sounds like something I'm experiencing myself you can uh, make an appointment with Planned Parenthood and talk to them uh, they're kind of swamped right now some of them so just make sure you get in there as soon as possible and talk to someone or um, with Obamacare and stuff, try and get insurance if you can right now in this period and talk to a doctor because you, you don't have to be alone. Um, talk to your friends and be more open. Like I said before, again, get the conversation going. Have you ever been period shamed? Huh? Santana?